driven by the need for answers. The crowd chants outside the headquarters of the Metropolitan Police. No justice! No justice! It's nearly two weeks since the car Chris Cubber was driving was hemmed in by two police vehicles five miles south of here in Streatham Hill and a single shot fired by an officer through the windscreen. It was enough to kill him. <laughs> the car wasn't registered to Chris. No firearm was found. His cousin says it's critical the police are held to account for the death of a 24-year-old about to become a father. Well, how do I look his daughter in the eyes when she grows up? I say that, you know, your father died as a result of a police officer shooting him and we didn't get justice. I don't know how I'm going to justify, justify that to her. So that means we have to get justice. At a protest last week, the family had three demands. They've all been met. The officer who fired the shot has been suspended. The family will get to see body cam footage next week and they now know how long the investigation is due to take. They've been told six to nine months. The Independent Office for Police Conduct describes the investigation as complex, saying there's a significant amount of evidence to go through, some of which requires expert analysis, and that all takes time. But lawyers for the family are far from happy, describing the timescale as unacceptably long and lacking in urgency. Instead, the family wants a decision on charging to be made within weeks. They also want to find out if police knew it was Chris in the car or were they just following a suspect vehicle. And the third new demand is for the suspended officer to be interviewed under caution. I want to know when I will feel protected by the police rather than having to be scared of the police. We're not going to let them brush it under the carpet. We're not going to have another person who just becomes a statistic. A national call to action resulted in protests up and down the country, including in Manchester. Back in London, the Met Police says it fully supports the investigation, which the IOPC has confirmed will consider if race was a factor. And while that goes on, there'll be no end to the pressure in the quest for justice. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Central London.